Well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today on this episode of Keto Chat. Today I'm here to interview Rita. Uh, welcome, Rita. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Excellent. Rita's going to be sharing her uh, keto journey with us, uh, with working with me and um, hopefully being inspiration to, you know, at least one person out there. So Rita, can you just kind of give us a little intro of yourself? Tell us who you are, where you live. Sure. So my name is Rita Ott. I live in Corcoran, Minnesota, which is a small rural suburb of Minneapolis. I've been here since 2009 and have really enjoyed it. We're out in the country a little bit and have a couple acres and, and really enjoy our sp space of where we're at and what we have. I'm married. My husband's Leo. We have a chocolate lab, Molly. We don't have any kids. We're doing just good. I've got a bunch, several nieces that um, take up some of my time when I get to visit them back in Kansas, where I'm originally from. Excellent. Welcome. Chocolate Lab. That's my yeah. mom's favorite dog. So oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let's go back to before you even knew who I was. What kind of struggles, you know, what were the things, the challenges that you were having as far as your weight and your health that first thing you'd think about waking up in the morning and um, yeah. take us back a little bit on that journey? Yeah, so sure. You know, as I think back, I would say probably, you know, going all the way back to high school, I think I have always struggled with my weight. And so it's just, kind of, it's kind of always been a constant there in my life. And I would say probably 10 years ago, you know, roughly when I moved to Minneapolis, I figured out the exercise piece and I started exercising on a regular basis, which I had never done, but it still didn't, that really didn't impact my weight. I mean, I felt better, but I still wasn't losing weight. Um, and then I would, so last year I decided at the beginning of the year, cause December of 2020 was my 50th birthday. At the beginning of the year, I'm like, okay, this is my year. By the time I turn 50, I'm going to have this figured out. And so I started keto on my own and, you know, quickly on my own, I lost 15 pounds and then I just stayed there for like six, seven months and just couldn't figure it out. And it was frustrating. I couldn't figure out. It didn't matter what I tried. It didn't seem to work. And so it was getting closer and closer to that birthday. And I'm like, I got to figure something out. And so, you know, I've had that before with coaches, whether it be on fitness or on financial. And I'm like, okay, let me see what I can find. So one day I just decided and I started searching on the internet and found Carol and decided like, you know, I'm going to go for it and give it a try. And so I'm so glad that I did. Excellent. So, uh, you know, so it sounds like the struggles you were having that, you know, had you searching out a, a coach to get you better results, then were just like, okay, I lost a little weight. I have a glimpse of keto could be this amazing thing, but uh, yeah. why is it not working for me? Like I see it working for everyone else. Is that kind of. That's it. Yeah. I just, I couldn't figure out the nuances of it. And, and then, it, you know, of course, then the frustration sets in and, and then it's like, well, why am I even bothering? Cause it's not working, but yet I know that's what I want to do. And just, I was reaching to that point where I'm like, I'll just give up. And I didn't want to do that. So what was it then, you know, we have our first consultation where we kind of talk about like, is it going to be a good fit? Like what, what was it that kind of clicked for you that were, that made you decide like, yeah, I think this is, this is what I need. Do you remember what that was or? <laughs> One, I think it was just, I think your energy and you are so positive and like, absolutely. I, I know your story. I know I can help you. And even then it just, um, it seemed like it was going to be easy. And then that, and not easy in that, that, that it's an easy journey, but an easy that the, the process seemed easy. And then I think as I started to learn more, I think what I like about it, there, there's a process and there's rules and guidelines, but yet there's freedom within those mm. rules and guidelines too, in that you're not, well, here's your 30 day meal plan. You have to follow it exactly to the T because that was stressful to me. Like when you would look at that. Um, so being able to have that freedom and make to, here's my guidelines. And if I can just stay within those guidelines and make adjustments in there, what works for me, that felt freeing to me. And then I felt, and then just the, the whole program, it just like, there's just those little tidbits that I was missing mm. that kind of filled in the blanks to make it easier for me to, to be successful. I knew, I mean, I'm a food scientist that, so I know vegetables have carbs, but I didn't realize, you know, how many carbs I was getting based on the amount of vegetables I was eating. Mm. And so I thought I was doing the right thing, but um, just, you know, it wasn't working, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's a big challenge people have is that in past diets, we're always told like vegetables are free food. And so they don't really register that they'll have to like eat a smaller portion of vegetables. That seems a little crazy for a lot of people to wrap their head around. So I talked to so many people that are like, I'm not eating any carbs at all. And then it's like, oh, but they're having maybe like 80 grams of carbs a day, but they feel like it's none. So yeah. 
I'm glad. Yeah, that was surprising to me. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm glad too, that you see that um, freedom within the structure too, because that's my goal is to help everyone find a way of doing this that fits their unique personality, their likes and tastes, their lifestyle, their, you know, goals and things like that too. So um, I'm glad that like you got that, that it's easy within the structure and also you have freedom. So yeah. Right. (laughs) Right. Well, and I just, I mean, then I think that makes it easier and that allows you to have ownership and it just, then like you said, it's, it's not somebody telling you have to do ABC, Mm. um, which, you know, then, you know, sometimes that can be hard to, that you, you want to, you know, naturally you want to deviate from that some. So. Yeah. 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 Excellent. So you completed our fast track program Mm -hmm. and then you've stayed on in our crew, which is the membership after that. And also you've graduated the point where you're supporting others as a peer support coach now, which I love. So share with us, like, what have your results been over this journey? We've been together maybe four or five? Yeah, almost five months. Yeah, almost, almost five months. The time's gone by so fast. You know, so it's been great. So the, you know, the best part, you know, so I've lost 36 pounds. Um, It's been a few weeks since I've measured, but at that time I've lost a little over 35 inches. Mm, Um, So, which is just huge, which, so that's great. But then I think the other surprising thing for me is the other little subtle things of just how I feel. I'm sleeping through the night. I don't wake up with leg cramps like what I used to. Mm. I always thought that was because I was going to the gym. Mm. Um, and I just said, well, well, that's, that's part of it. I don't have that anymore, which is just amazing and awesome. And, uh, you know, so it's all those little things of just of how you just feel good. And then, um, like, I feel I have so much energy, you know, there's been here the last month, there's been probably every week, probably at least two days a week, I've gone and done like two workouts in a day. Wow. And I don't, um, I don't struggle with energy being, you know, being able to do that. And I'm still, I'm not hungry. Um, you know, it just, it's, it seems to be working. And so, and it makes me feel good. So I enjoy that. Oh, I love that. Like so much energy that you're like, Oh, let's just go for a second workout today. Yeah. Let's go for it. Now, like the, the earlier this week, I was going to do that and I didn't feel it. And so I'm like, you know, I'm just going to do the one. But so, I mean, again, so then that's nice where you are able to learn to listen to your body of what you want and and what you can do and and what might not work today, but can work tomorrow. Here's where things take a turn. We've been talking about the positives and all this now. So let's take an imaginary journey that where would you be now had you not found me? I don't know. I, you know, I don't know if I would have just given up or if I would have continued to struggle, you know, but I think back like, you know, every day was this, like, it was this, like this inner battle of. I know I wanted to be good and I want to try and do the right thing and eat right, but then it doesn't matter. So who cares? So I'm just going to go have something that I know I shouldn't. And it was just that constant mental drain of that, you know, that internal discussion every day of trying to figure out what are you going to fix for a meal? I don't know where I'd be. You know, I would have continued to exercise, but I'm, I feel like I'd probably just be stuck in the same place. And then probably just from, you know, emotional and mental, I probably would probably be in a worse spot than where I was. That would be my guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thankfully that's not where you're at. And well, and yeah. then the thing now is like, I feel like for the first time, like, um, you know, I still have a, uh, I still have quite a ways to go in my journey and more weight I want to lose, but this is the first time, like I can see that in the future mm-hmm. and that I have confidence and belief that I'm going to get there. I now know what I need to do to get there and sustain it. I don't know that I've had that before Mm. because I've, you know, like everybody else, I've tried tons of different diets and have lost weight and then you gain it back and gain more um, than what you lost, which is always frustrating. But this is, this is the first time I think I'm like, wow, I know, I know I've got this. So Mm. that's exciting. I love that. That was going to be my next question is what do you (laughs) do with Horizon for yourself? So you're already, we're already, synced up with what you're going. So what are their side benefits? Like other things that you didn't expect to get better? I, I, you know, maybe the uh, influence you've had on other people in your lives or your family, like the ripples of healthiness that have changed around you too. You know, my husband is, is starting. He's, he's uh, kind of been slow to take this on, but he's, he's trying and, and we're going to get there. So I'm excited about that and that possibility of, of him giving this a try. You know, I know, you know, my family has been excited for me, my friends, you know, they're just super excited. And if anything, they give me more motivation now than ever. And not that I would, but they're not going to let me fall off. Like they're just so ex- supportive and, and excited. Um, I'm really excited, you know, since I've been working from home since March of last year. So I haven't seen very many people. 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, so some people have commented like when they see you on a Zoom call or a Teams call, but I'm excited that one day to when I can go back into the office and see everybody and, and see everybody's comments and thoughts. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing. And then, you know, it's just the biggest thing I was looking forward to is just, I just to, I just want to be able to live life and not think about weight. And then, so I'm on that path and I think about it less and less than what I, where I was. And so that's enjoyable too. It's just that you don't have that mental heaviness day in and day out. One of my whys and what I was looking for. And I feel like, you know, I've, I'm definitely seeing the benefits of that. And I know that's only going to continue. Um, And so I'm sure that makes me a better person to be around too. (laughs) I love that. That's so great. Like just all overall quality of life, confidence, uh, just the freedom of no longer being this heavy lead blanket of constantly consuming your thoughts, your worries and stuff like that too. So uh, yay. I'm so excited and happy for you and congrats on all your success and excited for the future. Um, We're going to be hanging out for a while longer in the future too. So, yep. um, well, and I think that's, I mean, I have to admit, so, you know, I was, I was excited, like when I joined, but I was also a little bit concerned or skeptical and like, okay, what's this going to be like? And what's the support level? And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised because you, because sometimes you do that and you're like, well, you just, here's the information. Here's what you need to go do. Okay. Now go do it. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little bit worried. I'm like, oh, is that what's going to happen? Um, there's so much support through this whole program, if, as, as long as you take advantage of it. I think that's huge as well. Um, to One, you can learn from others. You can see their successes and see what they're doing. You can learn tips and tricks to help you out things that you didn't even think of. And then to me, it just keeps you motivated and going. And so I, like I said, I was been so pleasantly surprised of, of all the support from everybody and directly from you, Carol, you know, as you're, as we're on this journey. Um, you know, that's what one of my tips to people is, is I probably didn't take advantage of that early enough. I think I, you know, I joined the coaching calls, but I waited to reach out with questions mm-hmm. until later. Cause I just didn't know if that was appropriate or if I could do that. And so that's probably been a great surprise and a great benefit as well. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I know sometimes f- people feel conscientious about asking a question, but everything yeah. is there. And I'm so glad that you feel so supported because I've really, you know, crafted this in a way that trying to cradle you and support at every turn. So you feel like a safety bubble around you that you're always there and everybody's cheering you on, but also there for support and and tips and tricks, like you said, too. So wonderful. Yeah. Well, Rita, any last comments or anything else you'd like to share? Anything else you were hoping I would ask about? Well, I've just had such a great experience. I hope I can help others in the future. Another thing that I've really enjoyed is that I did a diet several years ago where I lost quite a bit of weight, but at that one, you know, part of it, they're like, you need to stop exercising Mm -hmm. because all of that and hormones and exercising, it just really makes it more difficult in some ways was their recommendation. And you know what? It worked. I lost weight, but I've been able to continue exercising and do stuff. And I haven't, um, um, I'm having to re um, build up some strength, you know, with losing weight, I've lost some of the strength on lifting weights that I had, but I'm not too far off. Um, so that's also been a, something that I've enjoyed that I've been able to continue to do that throughout and that, you know, I didn't have to cut back or give that up. Oh, your big, uh, cross crossfit. crossfit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> I know. Cause a lot of times people say like, Oh, you can't do keto and do crossfit, but you're, yeah. you're doing it twice a day now. So, Oh, on oh. some of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, excellent, Rita. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I know you're going to touch at least one person and probably lots of people that are going to identify with, you know, something about your story that's going to hit them where they're going to say, oh my gosh, like that's like me. And if Rita can do it, so can I. So thank you so much for sharing that and inspiring others to get on this healthy journey and get that freedom from constantly worrying about how to lose that weight and just move into a place of feeling amazing and the best decades of your life are ahead of you so it's great well thank you everyone for watching if you've enjoyed this if you're inspired by Rita's story like comment below and share with us like what was it that's uh uh that moved you uh that you can identify with there give us a, a thumbs up subscribe to hear more of these uh success stories too so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye okay thanks bye